Hey there, it's me, Jen Boy again. How's it been? It's been a while. <laughs> so today I just wanted to um, go through my game collection here and kind of just wanted to look through them uh, again. And I'm actually thinking of like downsizing super heavily, like my like the amount of games that I have just because I don't know, but we'll get into it. Also, my dog is here. He's going to help me out. Right, Bowsy Boy? Good boy. <laughs> so, uh, to start, I'll just kind of, well, I'll just give you like a quick glance through of everything that I have here. Okay. So maybe I'll zoom in a bit. And then um, afterwards, I'll just kind of like pick each one out individually, one by one. And then I'll just kind of like decide which ones uh, I want to keep still, that kind of thing. So, the reason why I was thinking of downsizing my collection, uh, that's not all my games by the way, I have more here on my shelves. There we go, I got my Wild Arms collection there. And then I got my Atelier games over here, and then my Vita, and my Vita games. Let me actually grab these. So the reason why I was thinking of downsizing my games is because, um, <clears throat> Honestly, a lot of them I haven't been playing. A lot I have played through, but since then, like, I've only played them that one time. And so, I don't know, I just feel like the older I get, I just feel like the less time I have to play through these games. And also, a lot of these games I'm kind of just keeping because they look cool, right? It's like, oh, look at my big, impressive collection, right? Or And, like, a ton of them I haven't even like completely played through yet and so like if i really liked the game i would have already beaten them by now right so yeah i wanted to look through all my games and um i want to pare down my collection to like just the ones that i really like you know and so right now my goal will just be to uh pretty much just limit my collection to one of these bins so these bins here i keep down here below my TV here. This is where I would keep my games. Yeah, my room isn't that like, isn't really big enough for like a, a big display bookcase, that kind of thing. So yeah, there's my TV. That's where I keep my lightning PS3. Bowsy. Bowsy boy. Bowsy boy. Yeah, this is Bowser by the way, but we call him Bowsy. Is that right? Say hi. Okay, <laughs> here, Bowsy, come, stay here. Good boy, here. Yeah, you're a good boy. Good boy, Bowsy. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's just go through these. So, yeah, let's just go one by one, and I'll decide, I'll give my thoughts on each game, maybe, and, uh, yeah, we'll see which ones I end up uh, picking or keeping rather okay so here we go first up we got arcana heart for the ps2 this is the first game in the series uh pretty cool fighting game uh i do love me some waifu fighters now this one i literally only played the arcade mode or like the story mode once through and then like that's it i never like returned to it it is a cool game though so maybe Alright, uh, I guess my criteria is, do I feel like playing this game again? And so, Bowsy, Bowsy, Bowsy bye! So, I guess I'll keep that. Amplitude, I definitely want to keep this, I love this game. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil, this is one of my, like, top 10 favorites, I would say. Uh, Castle Shikigami 2, I definitely want to keep that. This one is like a, like a top-down arcade shooter. Uh, infamous uh, English dub and localization. It's hilarious. Uh, Capcom vs. SNK2, definitely keeping that one. Uh, Crash Twin Sanity, I only got this recently. So, I actually replaced the case with uh, an Xbox 360 game case just because I thought the green matched much better with the art, right? So this one I'm actually currently playing. Um, 
I've always heard that like the Crash games past the like the trilogy and like Crash Team Racing were kind of bad, but I'm actually kind of digging this one. Um, actually, the reason why I picked this one up is one, I love this art, this uh, cover art, and two, I was watching like a review of the game, and um, I don't know, they got me at acapella soundtrack, and so that's literally what I got when I booted up the game. Fully acapella soundtrack. I just thought that was really unique, so that's a pretty cool game. Uh, I'll at least keep this until I beat it once through. Um, so far though, with my experience of it, uh, the ball rolling levels are kind of annoying. Um, but yeah. Uh, Dark Cloud, I haven't actually played this yet, but I do want to keep this because I do want to play this once through at least, so we're going to hold on to that. Uh, DDR Max, definitely going to keep that one. That's a that's a childhood game for me and my sister. We friggin' love this game. Okay, so Devil May Cry series. These ones are weird because, like, I've only played each game once through and I literally haven't touched them since. They're fantastic games. Um, the Devil May Cry 3, I would definitely... See, I don't know, because looking at, like, playthroughs of this game now... Um, I've realized it's very, like, tedious. There's a lot, like, you fight, like, the same, like, four bosses, like, five times throughout the game, and it feel it looks super annoying. I don't know how I got through this game. This is legit, I would think, one of the hardest games I've ever played. Um, yeah, so, so I don't know if I'd want to replay these. Ugh, see, I don't know. All right, I'm not doing great with downsizing. <laughs> I haven't taken out any game yet. Um, Dual Hearts, uh, I'm definitely keeping this. So this is actually um, one of the first games I ever played for PS2. Not this copy specifically. I played like a demo way back when like the PS2 like first launched essentially. Um, so I have super nostalgia for Dual Hearts. So we're definitely keeping that. Final Fantasy X. Again, I've only played once. Um, this is actually the first Final Fantasy game I've ever beaten. But yeah, I've only played it once. I don't know if I'd actually ever come back to this. Um, great game. Love the characters. The music is fantastic. The world is pretty cool. The combat and battle system is pretty sick too. Fazzy. I know you want attention. This dog, bruh. This dog. He needs like... If you're not like petting him every 30 seconds... This this guy needs constant attention and infinite food. Is that right, Bowsy? Hmm? Busy, busy, boo. Say hello. Say hello to the viewers. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, I need to like, I need to like really tighten up my, um, uh, like the requirements to keep a game or not. All right, Final Fantasy XII is a fantastic game. Definitely my favorite combat system of the series. Story-wise, character-wise, I didn't really care. I didn't really know what was happening. Um, I mainly like it. Bowsy. <laughs> Bowsy, bye! Here, play with your toy. Here. Hmm? Wanna play? No, 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 no. Stay there, okay? Stay there. <laughs> um, okay. Um, frequency, definitely gonna keep this one too. Um, frequency and amplitude are like the same game pretty much. Frequency is the first one. Amplitude is the sequel. Um, definitely keeping those ones though. I love me some rhythm games. Alright, this one I can probably get rid of. Uh, again, I've only played this once through. And like, trying to look back on the game, I barely remember anything from this. Um, I don't know, I just remember... I mean, I must have liked the game enough to uh, like beat it, but I literally can't think of... I literally can't recall anything about this game, so I'm pretty sure that's a good indication to get rid of it. 
God of War 1 and 2. So I've replayed these ones quite a bit, but I haven't touched them in years. So I'm, I might at least play through them once more. Uh, and then I'll decide. But yeah. Alright, Guilty Gear XX Accent Core. I've barely played this, not gonna lie. So, as much as I love uh, fighting games, like these kind of anime fighting games, I literally only like them because of like the characters and like the art style, the presentation, the graphics, right? So basically, most fighting games that I have, I only have because they look cool. Otherwise, I'm terrible at these games. Um, I can probably get rid of this one. <clears throat> oh, it hurts. Alright, Grim Grimoire. Again, I love the art. I love the animation. Um, I love everything about this game except for the main gameplay. And that's a pretty big reason to not keep a game around because, yeah, um, I'm not really great at real-time strategy games and, uh, I don't know, RTSs to me need the mouse and keyboard and so the controls are a bit finicky, at least from my experience playing this, so I can, I don't think I'll keep that one. Eco, Eco is pretty interesting. I don't know if I'll keep this though. Man, I hate this. I hate this cover art. Maybe I'll get like a a Japanese version of the game. All right, we can maybe put that one aside. Uh, let's see here. Jack and Daxter. I can probably. I don't think I'll keep. Um, <clears throat> Kingdom Hearts one and two. I'm definitely keeping those. Those are childhood games right there. Those are literally the best games in the entire series. Mark of Cree was pretty cool. I don't think I'll ever play this one again though. Um, the combat system was a bit difficult for me. It's kind of weird but definitely unique. Uh, combat system definitely hasn't been replicated since. Um, honestly the biggest draw of this game for me is that um, like the game was developed by um, Ex Disney animators, and it definitely shows in like the art style and like the cutscenes. But due to like the really early PS2 graphics, that Disney art style barely translates in like the like with like the main like gameplay, like the 3D models and stuff. They just look like PS2 like blobs. Um, but the art style really shows through in like the cutscenes and like the loading screens. Anyways. Metal Slug Anthology, great games. I don't particularly like this anthology though. This is gonna sound really petty, but I absolutely hate the graphic design in this like compilation, like the, the menu where you pick the games that you wanna play and stuff. The graphic design just looks so terrible. And that's literally why I don't wanna keep this game. <laughs> it's so petty, but like, if my goal here is to downsize my collection, I can play like those games on PC anyway, so yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Musashi Samurai Legend. Uh, hmm. This is an interesting game. It was kind of cool. Will I ever play this again though? This one is a maybe. The biggest thing that I disliked about this game is the the weird like surfer surfer dude attitude that like the main character has and like the music. It's an interesting combo. Surfer dude beach boy meets like samurai action. Um, but to me it was kind of weird. And there's like a portion in the beginning of the game where you have like a motorcycle mini game section and I absolutely hated that. So I don't know if it's a game that I would play again, so we'll keep that in the maybe pile. All right, Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. This one is pretty cool. So this one was the is a Nightmare Before Christmas game developed by Capcom, and it's literally a children's Devil May Cry. Like a lot of the staff members that worked on like Devil May Cry and Bayonetta worked on this game, and so it literally plays like a DMC game. Uh, it's super easy though, so yeah. Um, other than that though, like other than like the gameplay, I don't. I'll maybe play this once more through, and then I'll probably get rid of it. 
time. Yeah. <coughs> Okage. I haven't tried this one yet, but I definitely want to still. So I'm going to hold on to that. Okami. Definitely keeping this one. Fantastic game. All right. The Prince of Persia Sands of Time series. Um, fantastic games for sure. Uh, definitely some of my favorites growing up. Um, I did not like Warrior Within that much though. Um, so like Sands of Time, the combat was like way too easy. Like it's brain dead easy, but the story and the characters are fantastic. But then Warrior Within, they fixed the combat. Um, but to me, the combat felt a bit too hard. It, it's so weird. And also the edgy, like dark, edgy vibe atmosphere of the game. Um, and I didn't mind it because with that brought a sick metal soundtrack. And I love that's like the biggest thing I love about Warrior Within, the soundtrack. Um, and then the Two Thrones is actually my favorite of the trilogy because it takes the best of the previous two games. And so the combat is like just right. I love the stealth uh, mechanics. And the story is a bit more interesting than Warrior Within, but it does not top uh, Sands of Time. And like, you'll only get the most out of the story of the two thrones if you've played through the other two games. Because it's a direct sequel of Warrior Within. Like it takes place right after the true ending of Warrior Within. Um, but it revisits some like stuff from the first game. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't played it yet. So story-wise, you need to have played the previous two games to understand the two thrones for sure. I think I'll keep those for sure. I love those games. Psychonauts definitely keeping one of the most inventive platformers I've ever played in my life. Rise to Honor was super weird. Um, yeah, it's literally a Hong Kong uh, Jet, uh, Jet Li uh, action movie. Uh, but in playable form. It has a really cool like control scheme. Super unique. Uh, it really feels like your jet lead. <laughs> no. uh, super short game too. Severely underrated. I'm definitely keeping that one. Rogue Galaxy I haven't played yet but uh, I've been wanting to play this one for the longest time. And now that I finally have it, uh, I haven't played it. How does that work? So I'm keeping that one. All right, of all the fighting games, I definitely want to keep Samurai Showdown. Uh, I love how simple these games are, but they're still like brutally difficult because like they're not about like technical inputs or like long combo strings. It's literally just full like neutral and like a basic attack will like eat away how much of like, will do like how much damage. And so I love that like emphasis on like neutral. Um, okay, I need to get rid of more games. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, all the games where I've said that I would at least play through them once, and then I'll decide, uh, we can take those out. So, Crash Twin Sanity, uh, probably won't cut it. Um, Devil May Cry, I'm sorry to say probably won't survive then final fantasy 10 and 12 so here's the thing i actually also have final fantasy 12 on uh, ps4 like the zodiac age uh, uh version so i could honestly just get rid of the ps2 version and keep that one um final fantasy 10 again i haven't played it since i beat it like how many years ago <coughs> if I truly liked the game, I would have played through it at least another time since then, but I haven't. So, it sucks, but I'm going to have to get rid of those. Alright, Arcana Heart, here's the thing. Because I also have Arcana Heart 3. And so, I'm pretty sure a lot of the characters that are in this one are in the first game. Uh, are also in this third one, right? Like the latest game in the series. So I could honestly just keep this and get rid of Arcana Heart 1. But I love having the first game in the series because of how like, I don't know, it's like 
it's just the purest distillation of the of the series right it's cool seeing like where a series started um i don't know which one i don't know what do you guys think help me decide arcana heart 3 for vita or arcana heart uh, ps2 hmm. <coughs> For now, we'll set both of them aside since I can't decide. Again, if I really like the game, it shouldn't take me that long to decide if I want to keep it or not, right? Anyways, let's move on. Yeah, this is going to be a long video, by the way, and I'm recording this on an iPhone. I don't know how to edit videos without a computer, so this is just going to be long, one long, uh, uncut video just off the, off the top of my head, we improvising. So yeah. Okay, the Crash Trilogy, we're definitely going to keep these. I love these games. Not so much Crash 3. I could have done without the the vehicle minigame levels, but they're still fun to play through uh, from time to time. Uh, Crash Team Racing is literally my favorite Crash game. What a twist. All right. Um, so I have Final Fantasy, essentially Final Fantasy 1 through 13. So here are the earlier titles, excluding 3, because the PS1 never got Final Fantasy 3. <coughs> um, hmm. I want to at least play through this and this. Oh, wait, not that one. And Final Fantasy Anthology. I want to at least play through the early Final Fantasy games once through, and then I think I can get rid of these. Ex actually, except for Chronicles. I'm going to keep Chronicles because Chrono Trigger is literally one of my favorite games of all time. So I definitely want to keep a physical version of that. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 were, eh, were okay. Um, honestly, I haven't beaten Final Fantasy 9 or 8, but like, it's so weird because like with these early Final Fantasy, game, Final Fantasy games, I'll get stuck on like one part or like a boss, and then I just... After like a few attempts, I just don't go back to them. And so like Final Fantasy VIII, I'm pretty sure I got to like the third disc, got stuck on a boss somewhere. Final Fantasy IX, I didn't even get past like the first disc and like I haven't continued it since. So again, my thinking is if I really like these games, I would have pushed through, like I would have returned to them by now, right? So I don't know. Am I being too harsh? Does anyone relate to this uh, weird line of thinking? Anyways, Parasite Eve, I'm definitely going to keep this. Uh, uh, Rhapsody, definitely keeping that one. Spyro the Dragon. Honestly, I would rather get the Reignited Trilogy for PS4 because I love having full camera control with the stick. So we're going to put that away. Uh, Bayonetta 3, yeah, this is literally the only Switch game I have. I don't have a Switch yet, I don't know if you've noticed, but whenever I do get a Switch, I have my game ready, so we're keeping that. I'm not getting rid of my SNES Classic, I'm just taking it out of the box, because I need space for more games. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping my Classic, so don't worry about those ones. Alright, more PS2 games. Shadow of the Colossus, I'm definitely keeping that. Literally one of my top 10, game, uh, 10 games. Okay, Sly Cooper series. I'm going to keep one and two. And that's it for the Sly Cooper series. I love the first two games. The third one was okay. Um, they just introduced too many like characters and random minigame levels that I didn't really care about. So we can put that one away. Soul Calibur 3 has... An amazing single pl like awesome single player uh, modes. This is like the only fighting game that has like a really good single player mode. Um, so just for that, I think I I can definitely see myself playing this through some more. So we'll hold on to that. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'll keep this. This is a pretty cool um, 3D platformer, very Zelda like. 3D Zelda like. Um, yeah, this is a cool game. I'll keep that one. 
Uh, X-Men Legends childhood game right here. Definitely keeping this one. I love this game. I replayed that one quite often, actually. X-Men Legends 2, um, literally the same as the first game, but you also play as uh, the Brotherhood Mutants. And so the story of it was kind of interesting in that regard, but like X-Men Legends 1, I feel like had the better story and characters because like in this one, you team up with the Brotherhood to fight Apocalypse, but like because of that, what villains are left to fight? And so they take like these B grade ass friggin X-Men villains like who the heck is sugar man bruh <laughs> like who <laughs> ah! so if i'm gonna be playing x-men legends i'd rather just play the first game again okay zone of the enders um i haven't actually played the second runner yet so i'm gonna keep both of the both of the games until i actually play this one uh God hack infection. I haven't played this one yet either, so we're gonna hold on to that one. Okay, so now we can move on to the next box. So the next box here are my PS3 and PS4 games, also some PSP games. Now let me actually just get rid of these for now. These are just like the bonus goodies from the Crypt of the Necro Dancers special edition that I have. But anyways. Bazzy's sleeping, so he should be quiet. Precious, precious boy. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Definitely keeping this one. Uh, oh, shoot. How am I going to arrange this? Oh, boy. Uh, okay, I need to just arrange this box first. So let me see here. Also, we're also going to be going through like the games that I have on my shelves also. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, let me just do one thing at a time. I keep distracting myself. So let me just move this here. Will the PS1 games fit here? Oh god, I don't think they will. Who? Maybe this. And then Crash. Trilogy, I can just leave on top here for now. Okay, so <clears throat> 3D Dot Game Heroes. This was literally one of the first games I got when I got my PS3. This was like the game I wanted to get uh, when I was considering getting a PS3. Like, yeah, so epic game. <laughs> okay, um, Battle Fantasia. This is another fighting game. Is a 3D fighting game from Arc System Works, actually. Um, this one was alright. Um, again, I usually play fighting games because just because they look cool, but do I actually play them a ton? No, no I don't because I'm garbage at them. So, uh, Japanese Bayonetta, definitely staying. Love the Bayonetta games. Beyond Two Souls, I don't think I'll keep because... They're fun movies, especially the first time playing, but like, I don't imagine playing these again because there's some really like tedious parts. Um, Navajo Desert Section, anyone? Yeah, I hate that. It's so slow and boring. Anyways, Blaze Blue, again, cool looking fighting game. I hardly play it though, so man. <laughs> Brutal Legend. Um, this was definitely a really cool game. Um, again, the biggest draw for me was like the world, the metal, um, the metal inspired world was definitely really cool and like the soundtrack. Um, of course me being a big metalhead, of course I like this game, but would I replay it? Not really. So, Catherine, I didn't even beat this because I'm terrible at puzzle games. I think I got like halfway through the game and I just gave up. So, I don't think I'll be keeping that one. Child of Eden, I actually kind of really liked. <laughs> so, I can keep that. Darksiders 1 and 2. I've played these ones quite a bit. But I don't know if I would keep them, actually. Mm. Yeah, no. The fact that I'm pausing. Um, I think that's a pretty good indication I shouldn't keep them. Great games, though. Um, Devil May Cry 4. 
Uh, I, see, here's the thing. If I'm not going to keep the first two games, like Devil May, Cry, Devil May Cry 1 and 3, it'd be kind of weird to just keep the f random, like the fourth one randomly. So I think I'll have to skip on that. DMC, uh, yeah, we can skip that one. Dragon's Crown, we're definitely going to keep that one. Great game. Uh, Enslaved, I really like this one. See, so uh, in my like game collecting like over the years, like I'll go through my games every now and then and like uh, sell, trade, whatever. Like I, I don't play anymore, but like it won't be to this scale. Like this will be the most I'll ever like sell or trade in at one time. So before I would only maybe pick out like ten games at a time, and so. In a previous downsizing, I was actually considering getting rid of Enslaved. But when I sat down to play through it again to see if I still wanted to keep it, I ended up just beating the entire game in like two sittings. <laughs> so, yeah, safe to say I still really like that one. Eternal Sonata was really interesting. I'll definitely keep this one. Uh, <clears throat> Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, oh... So I actually really like this game. The story and the characters, I kind of didn't care. <laughs> there, it was really confusing, but I love the battle system and like the graphics, the world. Um, yeah, so I'll at least play this once through. I'm really interested to see how it holds up on repeat playthroughs. 13-2 uh, kind of craps on the story of the first one. Um, Otherwise, it's a great game. It plays much better than the first game, if you ask me. Uh, Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage. This one is literally Dynasty Warriors, but Fist of the North Star. Um, I actually sat down and played this a bit uh, a while ago, and I don't know, the combat doesn't really hold up anymore. It feels a bit too sluggish for me, so we can get rid of that one. God of War 3 will keep. Love the God of War games. Uh, King of Fighters 13, this is literally my favorite fighting game of all time. This one I actually play a lot. <clears throat> uh, Kawahime Enbu. Uh, again, looks cool, but I barely play it. Um, I also have it on Steam, so if I really want to play it, I have it there. Metal Gear Rising, this is an instant keep. Like, literally no question. <laughs> Mirror's Edge, uh, definitely a interesting game. I haven't played it a lot though since I beat it. Uh, the biggest thing for me with this game is the soundtrack. I love the soundtrack. Um, yeah, I can do without it. <clears throat> Nino Kuni. I love this game. Definitely keeping Nino Kuni. Okay, oh wait, let me just, just fix my things here. Okay. Uh, Okami... HD. So this is the Japanese version as you can see and this is so weird because like so this is actually playable in English outside of like a few cutscenes that are pre-rendered in uh, Japanese um, but like all the text and all the menus are in English and so if you want the HD version of, Okuha of Okami you can just literally just grab the Japanese version um, but like if I'm keeping the PS2 version here, do I really need this version also? Um, I mean, if the point here is to massively downsize my collection to just my super favorites, then any excess that I can cut out, then I should cut out. So oh, we can pass on Okami HD. Persona 5, man, I want to like this game. I love the music, I love the visuals, the menus, of course, but I'm not a big fan of life sim RPGs, nor am I a big fan of monster collecting RPGs. And that's literally the two main core mechanics of this game. So essentially what I'm saying is I like everything about this game except the main gameplay, which is kind of sad to realize now. So. We'll have to pass on that. Okay, Portal 2 for PS3. I literally have this on Steam. I could just play it there. Do I really need a physical copy of Portal 2 in my collection? What do you guys think? This is a fantastic game. 
For now, we'll pass, but let me guys know otherwise. <laughs> Resonance of Fate was really weird. Do I really... I only got maybe like three hours into the game. The battle system is still kind of confusing. Do I do I really feel like putting in the effort to really learn how to play this game? It the game looks great, but yeah, the, just the gameplay is really confusing. I don't know. We can pass on that. Okay, Sly Four was actually really good, but upon replaying, um, there's a bit too many motion control mini games and. I no longer have a first party like PS3 controller, you know, that actually has the, you know, like the six sense like motion control thing in it. I use like a third party PS3 controller now. So whenever, whenever a game includes motion control, whenever a PS3 game includes like a motion control bit, then I'm literally out of luck. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to pass on keeping that one. Tales of Symphonia. <clears throat> so this one's interesting because this is actually the game that prompted my whole uh, I should probably downsize my collection thing because I like I, I'm, I've, I've only played the first game. I haven't beat it yet, but like I got stuck on one part and I haven't touched the game in like like I don't know a week and a half now and so I thought if I was really enthusiastic about this game, if I really liked this game, then I would have pushed through, right? And so <clears throat> something is stopping me or like, I don't know, my mindset just changed on like my entire game collection. That one part that I'm stuck on, um, I don't know, just made me rethink my game collecting habits. So, <clears throat> And like I'm not even stuck on like a boss battle or anything like that. I just don't know where to go um, like so like pre PS3 uh, RPGs um, Tales of Symphonia is a PS2 GameCube game um, progression was uh, usually tied to like I don't know talking to like a very specific NPC at a very specific time in order to like trigger the next event that kind of thing and so I'm stuck on a part like that I know what I'm supposed to do but I don't know like who to talk to or like where to go to trigger like the next event and stuff like that so and apparently I just didn't care enough to continue so I don't think I'll keep that one it's so it's so sad because I really want to like this one but I gotta be tough on my collection yo Valkyria Chronicles I actually really like this game too but I'm not the best at uh, real-time strategy tactics games I'm kind of stupid but I love the world and the characters, but the actual main gameplay is actually getting kind of tough for me. And it's getting kind of BS too. Um, I don't want to really get into it. <laughs> Witch and the Hundred Knight. This one is a bit grindy. Um, the story and characters are okay. The music is fantastic though. Um, I don't... See, thinking about this game now, I don't really feel like grinding through the rest of the game just to say I beat it so on that notion alone that's that's pretty good uh it's a pretty good reason to not keep it all right ps4 games we are almost done I have been recording for nearly 40 minutes bro Bowsy is gone <laughs> okay <clears throat> a hat in time we're definitely gonna keep I love this game um, Blade Strangers. So this is another fighting game. Uh, this thing features like characters that this company here, this publisher, Nicholas, uh, Nicholas, um, has the rights to. And so it's just a bunch of their characters in one fighting game. And what's cool about this game, game is that, um, <clears throat> um, so like it's a, it's a pretty standard, uh, 2D traditional like side view fighting game right like street fighter you know you know how they are but like the inputs are very simple they're like smash inputs so to execute special moves it's literally just a direction and like one attack button that kind of thing and so it's actually pretty easy so i've beaten the arcade slash story mode with a few of the characters but the main thing 
that's kind of giving me pause on deciding whether I should keep it or not is um, up here. So I have here uh, Denge Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax for the Vita. This is like an anime fighting game. So I'm sure you recognize some of these characters here. Yeah, super weeb anime fighting game. Super easy game. And so this is like the only fighting game where I've actually completed the arcade and story modes and like the extra chapter dream modes or whatever uh, it's called in this game with every character. So I've essentially 100% of this game. And since then, I haven't returned to it. And so I feel like that's also going to happen to Blade Strangers because it's super easy. I feel like once I beat the story mode with every character, I'm literally just going to abandon the game. So, and like at that point, do I really like, is it really worth keeping then, right? Can I really say that I like the game um, if I'm not going to replay it after that? So, I think we'll have, for now, we'll pass on Blade Strangers. Fantastic game, though. Um, if you're not big on fighting games and want something easy, definitely I recommend Blade Strangers. And also Dengeki Bunko. But yeah. Uh, Blasphemous. This is literally one of the best games I've played recently. I absolutely love this game. I want to go back to this at some point and get like the true ending, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see, Blue Reflection, Second Light, I haven't played this yet. Um, this is like a Magical Girl uh, RPG um, from the creators of the Atelier series, so I haven't played this yet. I still want to dive into that one, so I'll keep it for now. Bug Fables, love this game. Uh, definitely keeping this one. I definitely want to replay it at some point. Um, this is my only limited run game, by the way. I didn't actually order it from them when it was like, you know, when they had it on sale. I actually bought this second hand from someone on eBay, and they were kind enough to list the game at $10 uh, higher than what this originally, uh, the, and what it originally went for. So thank you for not scalping me to hell for that. <laughs> <clears throat> Capcom Fighting Collection. Again, uh, I just think fighting games look cool, but I don't play them a lot because I suck at them. And so this would literally be... Um, uh, yeah, this would literally... This is literally just 10... This would just be 10 more games in my collection that I'm not playing. Uh, it sucks, but I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to cut it out. Uh, Cotton Reboot, definitely keeping this. This is super fun. I, I need more like arcade shooters. Keep... Crash 4, I absolutely love this game. I literally replayed this game like twice in a month. You could technically say four times in a month because I did all the inverted levels as well. Twice through. So I, I love this game. I'm keeping that. Uh, Chris Tales, I can skip. Um... Pretty interesting game. Um, definitely the highlight of this game for me are the, the visuals, like the animation and the art style. The characters and story were okay. Uh, I really, I really wish the like the battle mechanics were like much deeper than they went, than we what we actually got. Uh, but decent indie JRPG. Crypt of the Necrodancer. I have such a love hate relationship with roguelike games. I love this game. I haven't beaten it though. I'm stuck on the final boss. I have not cleared this game once yet. I've had this game for how long and I still haven't beat this game. But I do like it. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll pass on... Uh, I'd be kind of... Man, I don't, I don't know if I want to keep this or not. Uh, we'll hold on to it. Hello, Bowsy. Is he going to go back to sleep? I think so. Oh, oh. Okay, let's be quiet. Okay, Cuphead, we're going to keep. I love Cuphead. Cuphead is fantastic. We're going to be keeping this one. <clears throat> this is Death Smiles 1 and 2. This is another uh, arcade shooter. We're definitely keeping those. Crazy game. 
<clears throat> Devil May Cry 5 is fantastic. But again, I don't know if I'll even keep the series. If I'm not going to keep the rest of the series, why am I keeping this one? It is a great game, though. Um, so for now, we'll pass on it. Ugh, it hurts. Dragon Quest Eleven S, fantastic game. I have not yet played through the part three. I think, like I got, I got like the first credits, and I was pretty satisfied with the story up till that point. I didn't really feel like returning to the game, but maybe I will. Um, regardless, I'm keeping that game because it's it's such a great game. <coughs> Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. I haven't played this yet. Um, I don't know if I should keep this or the PS2 version. What do you guys think? Um, for now, we'll keep this version and ditch the PS2 version. Um, uh, okay. Game Tengoku, or Game Paradise. This is another old school arcade shooter. I need more of these in my collection. Those are always fun to replay. Hades literally took me 40 hours just for the first, just to beat it the first time. And I don't really feel like playing it again. So, great game though. Cool game. <laughs> uh, this is a Japanese copy of I Am Setsuna. A pretty neat little um, um, JRPG that harkens back to like the days of Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI, like the Super Nintendo RPGs. It was actually a pretty cool game. It doesn't quite capture the magic of those old school RPGs, but it it, it like it's still pretty decent. I love the music. Um, that's honestly like the biggest thing for me. It might be graphics were okay, battle system was okay, characters and story. The ending was pretty good actually. I don't know if I would. Hmm. Uh, for now, we'll skip it. Cool game, but I don't know if I'm really compelled enough to replay it. The Last Guardian, I can skip. Um, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection, we're definitely keeping this. I'm actually currently playing this right now. I'm still on the first game, but yeah, we're definitely keeping those. Uh, Nitro Plus Blasters, Heroines Infinite Duel. Again, another cool anime fighting game. I played the arcade mode once and then never returned to it. Odin Sphere Lift Racer. I, I don't know how to pronounce that title. Lift Racer. <laughs> um, I haven't touched this yet. I still definitely want to get to this at some point. I'm actually going to be playing this soon, actually. So, yeah. Soccer Wars. Haven't played this one yet either. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. So I'm not, I don't really play visual novels, but this game looks uh, like it does. Like the main thing I don't like about visual novels is, you know, just the pure reading and like the the graphics are usually just like, you know, still images, maybe some uh, alternate images with like the characters doing different expressions, that kind of thing. But like in this game, you know, the, the characters are, like, fully animated during, like, dialogue and all that stuff. And there's even some, like, voice acting in there also. And so, the less a visual novel feels like a visual novel, then I'll play it, right? <laughs> if that makes sense. So, I still want to try that one. Scarlet Nexus, I really enjoyed. Uh, we're definitely going to keep that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, the PSP games. Okay. So the thing with my PSP games, I'm actually going to get rid of all of these because I don't plan on keeping my PSP because it's a bit broken and glitchy and kind of, it, it just doesn't make me want to play my PSP anymore and like collect games for it anymore. So we don't need to keep any of the games. All right. Tales of Berseria, Tales of Arise. I haven't gotten to these yet because I wanted to finish... Uh, Symphonia but since at this point I've abandoned Symphonia I'll at least give these a try but honestly I probably won't end up uh, keeping these even after I play them so 
We're gonna skip those for now. Them's fighting herds. Again, really cool, uh, uh, unique like art style. You know, the My Little Pony <laughs> art style. Um, I, I like the characters, obviously. The story mode is pretty cool too, but honestly, I don't really play it that much. So I think we can skip this one too. Um, I need to cut out as many of the fighting games as I can because I li I'm literally not playing them. So like, what's the point? Uh, Wild Guns Reloaded, I don't play that much, but it would be a, kind of a neat little game just to keep. But no, that's not a... Okay, we'll keep Ease uh, 8 and 9. Ease 8 is literally one of the best games I've played recently. Ease 9 I haven't played yet, but I trust I'm going to be getting to that soon. Uh, did I get all the PS4 games? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, so now, the games on my shelf. So these are literally just my Wild Arms games. I'm keeping all these, by the way. I love the Wild Arms franchise. Um... Uh, actually, if anything, I can maybe get rid of Wild Arms Crossfire because I haven't even beat this game because I really don't like um, strategy RPGs. Um, I'm, I'm just too... My brain is just too unga bunga for them. And so I haven't completed this one yet. So I can maybe get rid of that. Um, Wild Arms Alter Code F. I don't know. If I really need the money, I can get rid of that one too. It's just a remake of the first game here. Um, but I thought it was okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, so for now, we'll keep all those. Uh, the game is on this shelf. Um, okay, we're definitely keeping those. Those are them classics. We gotta keep them. Hey, Sparks are gaming. Let's go. <laughs> um, all right, so these are Japanese copies of, would you look at that? They're all fighting games because, oh, of course, they look cool. Gotta have them, but I don't play them. I need to stop that. <laughs> so, all right, this one I might actually, I might actually get rid of. Um, I still like these ones. These are, these are cool. Um, I guess Sunsoft Collection to me just isn't cool enough. <laughs> Um, I know just who I can give this to, though, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, this is the base version of the game. I'm definitely keeping this, I love this game. Again, one of the very few actual, you know, fightings that I actually play. Um, also, I love this steelbook, because the art is so sick. And then Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, I'm keeping that one still. And then... The Atelier games, I'll be keeping all of these still. Um, this might sound a bit terrible, but I actually, I've actually only played two of these games. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so if there's going to be a big chunk of my game collection um, that I'm going to keep, you know, the games from my collection that I haven't played yet and I'm only keeping because of... Uh, uh, some cost fallacy then it's these games I'm gonna keep all these games and play them all and even if it's the last thing I do <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna keep all those uh, Yeah uh, Let's just see here uh, we're... Okay, so let me put this here Oops. Oops. Oh, what's happening? Sorry, just uh, organizing some stuff here. Okay, let me put these here. Oh wait, we haven't looked through the Vita games yet. I mean, I only had a couple of them. So here's the thing, I only have a couple Vita games, but <sighs> if the goal of downsizing my collection is money, I could get you know, I could get more money, obviously, if I decide not to keep my Vita, right? And so I could just get rid of all the games, too. But let's just say uh, I wanted to keep my Vita. This one, for sure, I'm not going to keep. I don't see myself replaying this one. 
uh, World of Final Fantasy, so that one... Uh, again, I'm still deciding whether I want to keep uh, Arcana Heart or not. Like, I've barely touched this game. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep the PS2 one. Maybe just because the game is simpler and there's less characters, you know, less to learn about the game. So maybe I can actually be decent at it. So maybe we'll keep that. Uh, this one I'm not going to keep because, again, I have 100% of the game. I haven't touched it since. I want to keep these two, though. Interesting that the two Vita games that I keep are rhythm games. Uh, yeah, so we'll keep those. So these can go in here. I do not have space. Oh, wait, I might have space for Arcana Heart. It's a tight split. Okay, no, I don't want to break the case. So, all right. So this may be my final game collection. There might be a few tweaks here and there, but yeah. I'm not going to be selling all this stuff or getting rid of them. Like all, and all these games. And all of these, I won't be getting rid of all of these, like, immediately. I'm, I'm maybe going to sit on this decision for maybe like a few weeks, or at least like a month. And then I'll decide if I want to keep these or not, right? Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, the point of doing all this is I want to reduce my collection down to games that I actually truly love, right? Like, I want to be able to look at my collection and, like, any game in it and be able to, like, look back at it fondly. Or, like, or like um, have the feeling, like, have the urge. Like, if I just look at a game, I should just be like, man, I want to replay that now. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, that that's what I want my game collection to be. Just all the banger games. <laughs> all the games that I think are truly bangers. And not just like games I'm keeping just because, you know, with a lot of the fighting games, oh, just because they look cool or, you know, oh, because I have a PS3, I need to get all the uh, JRPGs that I can because I love JRPGs, right? And the PS3 didn't have many of those, so I got to get as many as I can find, right? Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, for now, this pretty much might be my final game collection. Now, does that mean uh, I'm going to stop collecting games after I after I do finally, you know, get rid of all these and I'm left with just this one bin? Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe not. Um, but if I do, I'm, I'll at least like take a break from collecting games. But if I do decide to jump back into buying games again, I'm going to be a lot more conscious and intentional with like what games I decide to get and a lot more strict with like what games I buy because I don't want to have to do all this again because I hate the process of selling games I hate the process of having to go to the shop to trade them in or to post them online or to ship them all that stuff so I just hate the selling process <laughs> but yeah I just want I just want to be able to look at my game collection and be like, yeah, these are my games. I love each and every one of these and I I could replay these like infinitely and never get bored of them. That's what I want my game collection to be. So yeah, there may be a few tweaks here and there. This may not be the final, but this is like this is literally version like 0 0.9. We're literally this is literally almost there. So we'll do one more, uh, one more uh, glance through and then that'll be the end of the video. So thank you so much everyone for tuning in. It was kind of a r uh, random upload, but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope, uh, I hope you have a good day and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, whenever. Um, and I'm sure you've noticed, um, I don't have a computer anymore. So that's kind of why I haven't been uploading. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys later. Have a good one. Say bye-bye, Bowsy boy. Uh.